Hey friends, my name is E and you're watching E Mr. Easy. And welcome back to a new video for A level for the medicine today. We have two problems for the sums of natural numbers for the questions video. And we move on to the first question. But before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you any future videos. And we move on to question one for some evaluate. So we have A, B, C, D here, or A, B, F, G. And I'll split into four different columns. A, B, F, G. So for part A, we find the sum of 2R plus 1 from R equals 0 to R equals 3. So we can just, what we can do is that we can basically just split this into 2 times the sum of R, blah, 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 blah. But it will, be, it will be way too complicated. An easy way to do it is just do it manually by exhaustion, by just substituting R by 0, R by 1, R by 2, and R by 3. So when R equals 0, oops, when R equals 0, oops, sorry. When R equals 0, it will be 2 times 0 plus 1. And when R equals 1, it will be 2 times 1 plus 1. When R is 2, it will be 2 times R plus 1. And when R is 3, it will be 2 times 3 plus 1. And that gets us 16. So 16 is the answer. So, so part B, find uh, the, aspect, the sum of R from R equals 1 to R equals 40. So we now have to use the sum of natural numbers, which is R. And we know the formula is half n, n plus 1. And n is the upper limit of the sum. In this case, it's 40. So we have to substitute for 40. So half times 40 times 40 plus 1, which is 41, right? So it will be half times 40, which is 20, times by 41, and that gets us 820, right? So 820. And part F or part C, we define the sum of R from R equals 100 to R equals 200. So we define the sum of R from R equals 100 to R equals 200. So we're going to split into two different sums across the bottom here, it's not 1. So it will be the sum of R from R equals 1 to 200 minus the sum of R from R equals 1 to 99. Right, because you, do, you have to do this number minus 1 to get to this number here. So now we basically just substitute some values, so it'll be half times n times n minus n plus 1, 201, minus half times n times n plus 1, 100, and just put in my calculator. So it'll be half times 200 times 201, plus, uh, minus half times 99, minus uh, times by 100, and that gets, that gets us 15,150. So one five one five zero like so. And for the last question, it's similar to part F, where we have to split into two different sums. So it'll be the sum of R equals one to forty minus the sum of R from R equals one to twenty. Like so. So we'll basically just substitute some formula, some numbers in. So half times forty times forty one minus half times twenty times twenty one. And that gets us 610. Like so, 610. So moving on, we have shown that the sum of r from r equals n minus 1 equal to n equals 2n is equal to this expression right here. So now we have to first rewrite this expression because this, the base, the lower limit is 1. So we split into two different sums. So the sum of r from r equals 1 to 2n minus the sum of r from r equals 1. And the upper limit in this case is basically this number minus one. So n minus one mi n minus one minus two. Sorry, n minus one minus one is n minus two. So now we can basically, basically just evaluate this. So we know that each sum is equal to half n n plus one. So the first one to be half n and n plus one. And the second one is basically half uh, n n minus two and n plus one is n minus one. So we now can, we can evaluate some terms by first factorizing a half. So it'd be half times 2n times 2n plus 1 minus n minus 2 n minus 1. And we can now just basically uh, expand the bracket to get 4n squared plus 2n minus uh, this one here, it'll be n squared n squared. And here's basically just minus n minus 2n, which is minus 3n. 
and plus 2, like so. And we can basically just um, factor, uh, simplify some terms. It will be 4n squared minus n squared, which is 3n squared. And it will be 2n minus minus 3n, which is 5n. And 0 minus 2, which is minus 2. So we can now what we can do is that we can see that we have a quadratic right here. Therefore, we can factorize it to get half n plus 2 and 3n minus 1. And that's the answer. And we have question 9. So in question 9, show that the sum of 4 minus 5 from r equals 1 to k is, is equal to 2k squared minus 3k. So we first have to split this into two, two, two different sum because this is not uh, this has two terms which we have to simplify. So 9a will be equal to the sum of 4 times like so. Okay, because what I, what I did was that I basically just separated into diff two different integrals. But I have to further split into, um, I have to further extract the constant term because I'm just straight out like so. So because if you were to times 4 by inside the bracket, it would be 4r, which satisfies this. And if you were to times 5 by 1, it would be minus 5, like so, right? But we know that the sum it only works for the sum of natural numbers, which only contains r in this case, and the sum of 1s, which only contain 1 in this case. So we have to factorize a 4 and a 5. So it will be equal to 4 times the sum of uh, the sum of n numbers, the r natural numbers, it is equal to what, half times n times n plus 1. So half times n times n plus 1. Like so, oops, minus. Um, this one here, right here is basically just k because the sum of 1s is just equal to n. In this case, n equals k. So it'll be half minus 5k. Like so. So this we can simplify into a 2. So it'll be 2k and k plus 1 minus 5k. And this gets us 2k squared plus 2k minus 5k. And therefore, it'll be 2k squared minus 3k. 2k squared minus 3k, like so. QED. Number 2. Find the smallest value of k for which this sum right here is greater than uh, 4850. So we know that this expression right here is equal to 2k squared minus 3k. So what we can do is we can basically just uh, substitute this by 2k squared minus 3k. So be 2k squared minus 3k is greater than 4850. Rearrange it to get 2k squared minus 3k minus 4850 is greater than 0. So the way to solve this is that we can basically just treat this, uh, this sign as an equal sign first. So if we were to treat it as an equal sign, we can get k equals, let me just type into my calculator. So 2 and minus 3 and minus 4850. It will be equal to k equals 50 and k equals minus 97 over 2, like so, right? So we know that this is an greater than sign, right? So let me just write the whole inequality out. So it would be 2k plus 97 times k minus 50 is greater than 0, right? So we know that the inequality shows that the region is towards infinity. So it's not bounded between these two values right here. So we know that the curve is roughly around k equals 50 and k equals minus, 70, minus 70, 97 over 2. So, so it's roughly like this. So, so the values is bigger than, that is bigger than 0 are basically these values that are to infinity above the y-axis. So, right? And we know that we can't have a negative number for k or the r right here. So the only value is k is greater than 50. So, so the value is k is greater than 50. And the smallest value of k is therefore k equals 51. Because k has to be an integer, because it's a discrete value, like so. And it has to be greater than 50, like so. And the last question here. Given that f of r is equal to a r plus b, and this sum right here is equal to half n 7n plus 1, find the constants of a and b. So we can substitute this f of r by a r plus b first. So the sum, oops, the sum of AR plus B from R equals 1 to N is equal to A times R, R equals 1 to N plus B times sum of 1 to R equals 1 to N. So, we also know that A 
and B are constant. So we can now evaluate it because we know that this one here is half n m plus 1. So half n m plus 1 plus this one right here is basically equal to n. So it will be B n. Right, so, so we can now basically just factorize in half n because we know that we need a half n from here. So it will be half n times a times n plus 1. And from here, we know that we can extract a 2, uh, sorry, an n quite easily. And we need a half, right? So therefore, 1, because it's basically 1bn, divided by a half is equal to 2. So it'll be 2b, like so, right? So if you were to expand this, it would be this, run, this value right here. And if you were to expand this, it would be this value right here. So it'll be equal to half n a n plus a plus 2b, like so. And we know that this one here, right here is equal to half n 7n plus 1. Therefore, it's basically that simultaneous equation where we know that 7n equals a n and a plus 2b equals 1. And therefore, from here, we can deduce that a equals 7 because we can cancel, cancel out. So a equals 7. And substitute into here 7 plus 2b equals 1 and 2b equals minus 6. Therefore, a Oops, sorry. Therefore, a equals 7 and b equals, you see, minus 6 divided by, minus six divided by 2, which is minus 3. And these are the answers. And this is for the script one for the sums of natural numbers for the questions video. And I hope you will find it useful and helpful and infinite. Please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so in any future videos. And if you have any questions or any comments about my YouTube or my Instagram or my LinkedIn, you can comment down below and I reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.emaceyeasy.com. And I hope you will find it useful and helpful. And I'll see you all in the next video, which will be 3.2 for the sums of cubic or cubes and squares, which will be super fun, which will build onto this concept right here. But, anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe. And happy learning.